right, today's Friday, November 11, 2022. It's Veterans Day. Gonna be putting some work in, some more work on the 60 here. What I have here is all the inside windshield moldings and dash bezels. So these are the knee knockers. Go around the where the vent window meets the uh, door jam. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be needing this as the bottom of the tilt or bottom of the steering column, but with the tilt, I'm not sure that it calls for it. Speedometer cluster and the other clusters, inner windshield molding, inner pillar molding, and these go across the inside of the windshield post. This one has some nice dents around this area, not sure how that happened. So this is original lacquer paint. All I've done is wash it with soap and water with the red pad. Um, since this is a metallic color, I think I'm going to have to 2K primer this stuff. So I'm going to DA it all down, get all this stuff off. See, it's got this factory stuff that never dries. All these little imperfections. Probably have to put a little filler around this area. These are actually really nice, but they're dry. They're checked. And all this stuff is just really dirty. So I think I'm going to DA them down and then spray some 2K primer. I don't know if I have enough base coat. I have about maybe 24 ounces sprayable. So it's going to be a close stretch. I do have a digital dash, so I would like to at least get these painted. So let me start the process here. Let me get my DA fired up, bring you guys back. All right, here we are three hours later. I got everything DA down, uh, and I think I'm going to go straight to epoxy. I don't think it needs 2K primer. I fixed a little dent that was right there, spot that in with some primer, and there was another area right here. A little dinger. So I da these down with 80 grit. Washed them two or three times. Just hung them up, sprayed them down with the wax and grease remover. And I think I'm just going to go straight to epoxy because I'm thinking if I 2K them, then I have to sand them again meticulously. And I really don't want to do that. If I go straight to epoxy and then go to base coat right on top of that, I'm going to give it a shot with that. These things are, I, I would have loved to get these sandblasted all clean, but don't have that. So. It'll be kind of awkward spraying all these things at weird angles, but hopefully we get it done. So, mix up some sealer, probably reduce it 20%, get the spraying, bring you guys back once it's all sealed up. All right, here we are. I got everything sealed up in the gray epoxy. Had to bring these down. These were kind of flopping around a little bit. These things are pretty tricky to spray because they got a lot of weird angles. And you want to get coverage all along the sides because that area shows. You don't want to have red showing when the car is green. I actually sprayed these things twice, two coats. Um, took uh, 14 ounces. So I'm going to go straight to base coat. I hope I have enough. I got that much that's probably probably 12 ounces so we'll see we'll see i'm gonna have to comb the fan down in we don't want to waste any so let me get to mixing bring you guys back once these things are green all right so here we are everything is in two coats of base coat same green that's on the steering column and steering wheel Base coat was a lot easier to spray on this stuff than the actual sealer. Spray to miss, miss it out real easy. Gonna be spraying this clear, the Zero 2020 SPI, four to one to one, or four to one to probably one and a half with the same gun, orange cap. Probably gonna go ahead and mix up about, about 10 ounces to start, see where we end up at. So let me bring you guys back once we get this stuff cleared. But so far I'm digging it.
right, so here we are. Two coats of the Euro 2020. Mixed it four to one to one and a half. And I had, uh, let's see, I mixed up eight and two and three. I mixed up 13 ounces and I uh, had two ounces left. So getting pretty good at getting back in the saddle of measuring things. Main concern was I wanted to get all this stuff slicked out because I really don't feel like polishing anything. So I think, I think it came out pretty good. No mishaps, surprisingly. Really like the knee knockers. Came out real nice. I think uh, makes it four to one to one and a half. It thins it out just a hair more. And it's only uh, 79 degrees right now. Cold front's getting ready to blow through. That also helps it a little bit versus spraying it at 97 degrees in the summertime. So all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna have to figure out some modification on this steering column bracket, but I do wanna go ahead and run it. So I'm gonna have to do some cutting on that to make it fit the I did it. But I went ahead and painted it since we were at it. So I know it's going to be difficult putting these pieces back together when it comes time without chipping the paint. We'll leave that for another day. Because these things, when they came off, they were kind of in somewhat of a bind. But we'll figure it out. I had a, probably about six ounces of paint left, so we still have a little bit left. Not much to do anything, though. So... We'll let these things cure out for a couple days, wrap them up in some bubble wrap, put them in some boxes, and wait for the time to come. Moving right along though, I need to get some sheet metal for the uh, firewall. That's going to be the next step on the car is we're going to shape the firewall probably after Thanksgiving at some point before Christmas. So, hope you guys enjoyed this process. The process was uh, de it with 80 grit. Scuffed it up with 80 grit by hand. I did have to do a little bit of filler work on two pieces. And then I sprayed it with epoxy, um, reduced about 10%, let that dry, went straight to base coat, two coats of base, two coats of clear. So I didn't completely strip all the old lacquer paint off. So hopefully it locks it down pretty good, that epoxy. Bring you guys back once we get some more work.